Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss the stealth aspects of LCA MK1A. This is a deep comparison, so you can unbuckle your seat belts and recline your seats if you are not taking off or driving. The Tejas MK1A is not categorized as a real stealth aircraft because it prioritizes cost effectiveness and versatility over achieving low observability. This aircraft's radar cross section, Arceus, is expected to be far larger than those of dedicated stealth fighters like the F 35 or F 22. Compared to previous editions, LCA MK1A design reduces the aircraft's weight and supersonic drag. It features stealth capabilities, including an airframe design that lowers radar signature. According to reports, the Tejas MK1A is designed to have a front facing RCS of 0.5 square meters. This RCS value was stated in interviews with personnel from the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, who designed Tejas. Let us compare it to some stealth aircraft. The F-22 Raptor is estimated to have a frontal RCS of approximately 0.0001 square meters or minus 40 dBSM in the X-band. This is around 250 times smaller than the Tejas. According to physics-based calculations and remarks from Lockheed Martin designers, the F-22's all-aspect RCS is estimated to be 0.1 to 0.3 square meters. This is still far smaller than the Tejas, designed only for front-aspect stealth. The Chinese J-20 is said to have a frontal RCS range from 0.1 to 0.3 square meters, close to estimations for the F-22 Raptor. One physics-based simulation assessed the J-20's RCS as roughly 0.1 square meters from the front and 0.2 to 0.3 square meters from all angles. These RCS values would make the J-20 stealthier than the Tejas MK-1A's estimated 0.5 square meters frontal RCS. However, because of its less optimized shape for all aspect stealth, the J-20's rear and beam aspect RCS is anticipated to be higher than the F-22. The J-20 achieved high degrees of frontal aspect and limited all aspect stealth, thanks to its huge size and significant use of planform alignment, edge alignment, and radar absorbent materials. Now let us compare it to aircraft of its generation. Raffles frontal RCS is estimated at 1 to 3 square meters. Not a genuine stealth aircraft, but does have some RCS reduction measures. It relies on the spectrum module to achieve stealth by scattering incoming radar waves. We have done a video on it and you will find it in the end of this video. JF-17 Thunder's frontal RCS is estimated to be between 0.5 and 1 square meter, similar to Tejas. It includes subtle stealth shaping and ram coatings. J-10's frontal RCS is predicted to be between 1 and 2 square meters. It is significantly more stealthy than Raffle but not as good as Tejas. The Gripenese frontal RCS is estimated to be 0.1 to 0.3 square meters due to shaping, ram, and slatted surfaces, making it stealthier than the Raffle and JF-17. The Tejas MK-1A and Gripeny appear to have the lowest frontal RCS among these fighters, providing a stealth advantage against head-on threats. The Raffle and J-10 have the highest RCS, while the JF-17 ranks in the center. Now coming back to LCA Tejas, the externally mounted weaponry significantly increases the vehicle's radar signature. This applies to all aircraft, including the Tejas MK-1A and stealth aircraft, Adding missiles, bombs, or other armaments to the aircraft creates more reflecting surfaces, considerably enhancing its detectability. There are ongoing efforts to improve its stealth characteristics. This includes exploring the use of radar absorbent materials, RAM, which is not officially confirmed, and other technologies, but the specific effectiveness of these improvements remains classified. Let us first look at the design stealth aspects. The LCA MK1A airframe has undergone significant computer simulation and testing to balance stealth, aerodynamics, weight, and performance on a compact, lightweight platform. It has a small total size, angled faces, blended surfaces, and an edge alignment to block radar energy. LCA MK1A uses canard delta wing configuration design. The delta wing is not useful for stealth, and the canards can make it harder to lower your radar signal reflection. More radar returns can be made by canards, especially from certain directions. It can be lessened, though, with careful planning and placement in radar-absorbing materials, RAM. Overall, the canard delta wing configuration design can include stealth features, however, more must be done to lower radar cross-sections successfully. The small dimensions of the LCA MK1A contribute to its stealth attributes. Smaller aircraft inherently have a reduced surface area which limits the reflection of radar radiation. 
With dimensions of 13.2 m in length and 8.2 m in wingspan, the LCA MK-1A is the smallest supersonic fighter. By optimizing the entire airframe with a reduced area to shape and modify, the designers can decrease the RCS. There is greater variation in stealth across aspects for larger aircraft. The compact design makes LCA MK-1A platform and edge alignment possible across the wings, fins, intakes, and other aspects. As a small fighter it requires small armament bays, less elongated S-shaped inlet ducts, and other significant stealth features. Simple aligned geometries are adequate. The LCA's weight is 45% composite materials, greater than most fighters. The compact dimensions enable the widespread application of composites. When observed from the front, the leading margins of the wings, canards, vertical tails, and nose are precisely aligned in angle to produce minimal radar reflections. Sloped and treated edges of the framed canopy deflect radar signals away from the front. Aspects on the side are less optimized. Returns are cut down by a framed canopy with optimized sides and a coating that absorbs radar. The wings of the LCA MK-1A are mid-mounted along the fuselage sides, and the roots contour elegantly into the fuselage proper. A single vertical tail fin atop the internal tailpipe dominates the empennage. The plane's tail is called the empennage, and it is made up of the elevators, rudders, a horizontal stabilizer, and a vertical stabilizer. The wings and fins have sharp, aligned edges to scatter radar waves away from the direction they came from. This reduces backscatter. The joints between the fuselage sides and underside have sharp ridges or chins. This avoids 90-degree intersections that would reflect radar strongly. Under each leading wing route are two half-circle air intakes that supply air to the solitary engine. The purpose of these air intakes is to reduce radar reflections. The pronounced S-ducts effectively hinder radar radiation approaching from the forward region. Rear and side detection is given less importance. S-shaped shields are installed at the engine inlets to prevent radar refraction from the compressor blades. The margins of the nozzle are treated. As mentioned before, a small fighter requires less elongated S-shaped inlet ducts. As mentioned above, the external weapons load increases the RCS of any aircraft. This is why Rafale F-5 standards is expected to have stealthy weapons too. In an air-to-air -air combat scenario, the LCA MK-1A can be equipped with several air-to-air -air missiles, including the R-73, IDER-BR, Python-5, Astra Mark one and Osram. R-73 is an older generation missile with simple conical forms. RCS is calculated at 0.1 to 0.2 square meters. Derby ER is a relatively new design with some RCS reduction shaping. Frontal RCS is anticipated to be between 0.05 and 0.1 square meters. Python 5 features stealth sculpting on the nose cone and fins. Frontal RCS is probably 0.01 to 0.05 square meters. Astra MK-1, reportedly designed to reduce RCS. Frontal RCS is projected to be 0.01 square meters or smaller. When transported externally, typical loadouts are two missiles underwing up to 0.2 to 0.3 square meters RCS penalty. For missiles can result in a penalty of up to 0.4 to 0.6 square meters. So, while not expressly stealthy, new infrared missiles have a relatively low RCS penalty as compared to the lowered signatures of the launching aircraft. The Astra MK-1 is expected to have the lowest observable impact of the missiles indicated. Based on the anticipated radar cross-section RCS, values of each missile type, here is an analysis of the potential RCS penalties for various air-to-air -air missile loadouts on the LCA MK-1A. R-73, 0.1 square meters RCS per missile 2X or 73 at 0.2 square meters to baseline MK-1A RCS. Derby ER, 0.05 square meters RCS per missile 4X Derby adds about 0.2 square meters. For Python 5, 0.02 square meters RCS per missile, multiply by 2 and add approximately 0.04 square meters. Astra MK-1, 0.01 square meters RCS 4X Astra adds about 0.04 square meters. For Osram, 0.01 square meters RCS, multiply by 4 to add approximately 0.04 square meters. So, to summarize, 2X or 73 loadout has the highest RCS penalty at 0.2 M2. For X Derby, 2X Python, for X Astra, or 4X Osram add just about 0.04 to 0.2 square meters. Given the LCA MK1A's baseline RCS at 0.5 square meters, these missile loads add a relatively moderate RCS increase compared to the aircraft's radar signature. Another key consideration is engine emissions. 
The LCA MK1A is powered by General Electric's F404 GEIN20 afterburning turbofan engine. The LCA MK1A's S-shaped inlet ducts protect engine fan blades from radar reflection. LCA-treated engine nozzleages and IR suppressors help to reduce RCS and IR signature in the rear hemisphere. The LCA inlet design seeks to limit shock waves, which can reflect radar waves. The LCA's intake ramps and narrow serpentine ducts handle shock waves. LCA lightweight materials and smaller overall size produce a lesser heat signature at supersonic speeds. The LCA MK1A engine's compact design, stealthy shaping characteristics, and use of composites result in reduced detectable signatures across flight envelopes than the larger, non-stealthy Raffle engine. Raffle's dual engines generate more thrust and use metal components, increasing infrared emissions. The same is true for twin EJ200 engines of Eurofighter Typhoon. However, LCA's single smaller engine may lack suitable cooling systems. A Volvo RM12 engine, a derivative of the GE404, powers the Saab Gripen. Western engines are considered more efficient compared to Russian engines. Chinese engines, if they exist, are inferior to Russian engines. The above are estimates for physical characteristics, not actual figures, although we do not expect the real values to differ significantly. Do you think LCA Tejas MK1A will be relevant in next three decades in the era of 5th and 6th generation jets? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.